flour. We're gonna add some baking soda. And the baking soda makes the um, dough really nice and tender. Also to get a nice tender dough is to Hello? Oh, hey, Tony. Uh-huh. Okay, so you want me to think of a dish that starts with T? Okay. Yep, I can do it. All right, thanks. Bye. Slowly incorporate ingredients into it. Well, there's some dishes that start with T. No, too girly. What if maybe we did something like... No, too common. Maybe we could do... Perfect, let's go. First, I think we need an onion. Next, we're going to need a tomato. And finally, we're going to need some lettuce. You want to chop up all your toppings and be sure to have parental supervision with a knife because it's super sharp. Since the most important part of any meal is seasoning, here's what I recommend for flavorful tacos. Celery salt, paprika, seasoning salt, chili powder, onion powder, and garlic powder. It is delish. Once you gather all your ingredients, mix a little bit of each in a bowl and then transfer to a cute jar. What to fill the tacos with? I know. We'll fill them with lean ground beef. I have 93.7 lean ground beef, which just means it's 93% lean and 7% fat. And here I'm just pre-scoring it so it'll break up easily in the pan. Since you've come in contact with raw meat, Thoroughly wash your hands with hot soapy water so you don't make yourself or anybody else sick. Go into your pantry, grab a large saute pan, put the burner on high and add three tablespoons of oil. After you've added the oil, add the onions that you've already chopped and stir them around until they're translucent and soft. You'll want to hear that sizzle noise when you put them in the pan. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of our taco seasoning mix. You might be thinking that's a lot for onions, but remember here people, you have to flavor a whole pound of ground beef too. When you put your meat in the pan, it should easily break apart from the pre-scoring. Now I'm adding one full cup of water to just help the meat break down a little bit since we don't want big hunks of meat in our tacos. And remember to reduce the heat down to medium low. Be sure to keep stirring your mixture so it doesn't burn. When it's finished browning, turn off the heat, put on the lid, move it off the burner, and just let it coast. Next, grab your whole wheat tortillas, put them on a cutting board, and spray both sides with cooking spray until they're pliable. 
Also, you want to spray in between the cups of your muffin tin. Now you're going to take your tortilla and carefully place them in between the cups of your muffin tin so that way it makes a cute little taco salad bowl. Armed with oven mitts and parental supervision, carefully slide these in the oven and bake for 9 minutes. After those 9 minutes are up and you've let the pan cool, carefully flip it out, turn it upside down on a cookie sheet and bake it for another 2 minutes. After those 2 minutes, take it out and let it cool. Now it's time for Mims's Mocktail Margarita. You want to rim your glass by dipping it in orange juice and then in kosher salt. And you want to use juice instead of water because the sugar will help the salt stick better. Now to blend it up, add 6 ounces of lime juice concentrate, half a cup of orange juice, 8 frozen whole strawberries, and 1 cup of ice. I named this mocktail margarita after Tony's partner in crime, Mims, who I thought deserved a chance in the spotlight too. Once the drink is nice and smooth, pour it in a glass and enjoy. Now we have everything finally ready. So the great thing about these little bowls is you can basically make your own taco salad, which is pretty cool. So you can spoon some meat in there. I like a lot of meat. It is the best part, you know. And then you can add some tomato. And a little bit of lettuce. And of course some cheese, which in my opinion is almost as good as the meat. Finally, if you like, top it off with a little bit of sour cream and salsa. And the great thing about this setup is everybody can add whatever they want and how much of it, however much they want. Get some sour cream, some salsa, now finally we get to tasting it. So we're going to be proper and put our napkin in our lap. And another great thing about these bowls are you can eat them with a fork, with chips, or you can just break the bowl. But I'm going to eat mine with some chips. So, dig down in there. Mm. That is so good. Oh my gosh. So that bite was for Tony. I think I'm gonna take another bite for Mims. Mm. Everything, the flavor is so great. That seasoning works really nicely with the meat to give it just enough kick without being hot. And if it is a little spicy, you have Mims' margarita to cool it down. Hmm. So refreshing. So once again, Mims' sip, Tony's sip. Hmm. So good. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and let me know if you try it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, thanks. Bye.